good day friends it is me hl my tech and i'm back with another glowforge project today we are building a bulletin board and we are using the glowforge and tinkercad to build everything all the way around it so my friends let's check out what we've done all right so the first thing i want to show you is the trim over here on the side uh, that is my class name hl mod tech and i just made my borders using the glowforge so let's show you how that happened in tinkercad so my friends here we are in tinkercad and this is my glowforge template i don't want to wreck it so i'm going to click the gear and choose duplicate so i can show you how this project all comes together so the first thing i do is i set the size of the grid to the correct for our Glowforge. It's in millimeters, so I do 450 by 275. When I update the grid, it snaps to that size, which is how our Glowforge bed looks. And then I wanted to make a border that the laser cuts out a tag board so that it cleaned up my edges for the bulletin board I was making. Obviously, this is a rectangle. Let's ungroup it, and I'll show you the pieces that are inside. This is a cool little font called Script. And you can get to this by going to the All Shapes and scrolling down, and it is usually on page two. When you drag it out, it is located and rotated the wrong direction. We can fix that by using the cool little zoom and then the view cube. And I like to click a corner so I can see that rotation handle. And if I rotate close to the shape, see how it snaps to those nice longer lines? If I move away from the shape, it grow goes one degree at a time. With it snapped, I picked the font I want. I chose to use Major Snafu because I like how it cuts out. And then where the word text was, I simply backspace and type the letter that I want to work with instead. I'm going to put a W just for this one that I'm playing with. I'm going to scroll back out a little bit. I'm going to move it over to where our project was. And then I simply stretched it till it looked exactly like I wanted it to and turned it into a hole. Holes, when you group them with other shapes, cut them out, and that's how I got the cool thing that you saw out on my bulletin board. The next cool trick I did was how I moved it. Watch this. If you do Control D to duplicate that letter, and then use the arrow keys to move the new one down where you want it, if you let go and then do Control D again and again, it places that letter all the way down your screen until you click something else. So because all I clicked was the view home, I can still do control D again and again and again until I've got my letters spaced the way I want. Then I simply would just click on each letter and change it to the letter I really wanted. Let's say I was doing the words why not or why or what did you learn today. Simply get those fixed so it looks the way I want. I could take my piece of tag board where I've already got the measurements set. I'm going to nudge it over with the arrow keys as well. To align them, I can grab the whole chunk. I'm going to delete this last little piece. And if I touch all of those and then choose the center button, they are all lined up. And if I group, I've immediately got my second piece of cutout that I could use on the Glowforge. Now that is super silly. It looks like I'm actually crying. Wow. But that is how I make it. And then to cut it on the Glowforge, you simply export as an SVG. All right, friends. So as you can see, I am in the Glowforge app now. And I'm going to open up my trim for the Glowforge wall because I already made it. And here's what's so slick. I was able to bring that in twice. And I could cut those on the Glowforge almost instantly. I was able to cut it at a quick speed. And it took my tag board. And even after going through only once, it cut it out and turned out really sharp. Alrighty friends, so there are lots of other tools you can use for building these, but I find Tinkercad super slick. If I'm in a hurry, it's quick and it gives me a nice clean SVG to work with, which is fun when you're getting stuff done in a hurry like I am in a classroom. If you found the video useful, my friends, please hit a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.